Okay, so when we start with the natural numbers, uh, we have already uh, learned about the uh, number line. Uh, if you know that what is number line, so let me give you a small recap about number line. So, we consider this is a number line. This is zero, one. Remember one thing that the, in number line, the side of uh, the right hand side of zero should be the positive value. Only it only gets the positive value, and the left hand side of the zero only gets the negative value. So this is what we know from earlier time. This goes to positive infinity. This goes to negative infinity. So this is what the number line is. So natural number should be positive number. So that means it should be within this. It should be a positive number. It should be a whole number. Like it cannot be a fraction number. It has to be integer or something like that. Then it can be prime. So we already have learned about the prime numbers, right? Like prime numbers are the numbers which can only be divided by itself and by one. Like what is the smallest prime number we know? Two. Because if we can only divide two by itself and by one. There is no other number we can divide two with. Then three. Three is also a prime number. Five, seven, eleven. This is all the prime numbers. You can only divide these numbers with by one and by itself. That's all. You cannot uh, like do any other. Um, you cannot divide it any other numbers and get an integer value. So if you say you are dividing seven by two, does it give you an integer value? No. It gives a fractional value. Two point seven. There's a decimal in here. So we can of course say that seven point two is a uh, is a prime number. We cannot say that. So let's see again. Uh, these are the prime numbers we know. So we have talked about the natural numbers. The natural number can be prime numbers. It can be prime numbers. It can be composite numbers, composite number numbers, and all prime numbers. So it can be anything without the uh, prime numbers. Mutually prime. Now, what is mutually prime? So mutually prime doesn't mean that it has to be the prime numbers only. Like if I say if I have two numbers here, so I have two numbers over here. One is 25. Another is six. So these two numbers are mutually prime with each other. So why they are mutually prime? Let me show you. We, uh, what is the factors of six? Factors of six can be six itself, three, two, and one. What will be the factors of thirty-five? <coughs> thirty-five itself, seven, five. In, in every numbers, if you, if, you call, if you see the factors, one will always be there. So we don't consider one for our, for our uh, to explain this mutually prime, we don't consider one. So any two numbers where there are no common factors within it, except one. So we don't consider, we don't consider it one, except one. So those two numbers are called mutually prime with each other. Like six and 35 are mutually prime with each other. Do you see any number common over here? There is no, no number or commons in between these two, or the, between the factors of these two numbers, except one. So we don't consider, I've said that we don't consider one. So that's why we call these two numbers, six and 35, are mutually prime with each other, okay? So, Natural numbers, it can be the prime numbers, it can be composite numbers, it can be mutually primes. So from one to any positive number, it can be the natural number. Simple as that. Now let's uh, get to know about the integers. So what are integers? Integers are the fractionless value. It cannot be fractional value. It cannot have a decimal symbol with in between the numbers. It has to be a it we cannot say this a integer. Can three be an integer? Yeah, it's really an integer. This is fractionless. It has no decimal point within it. So this is an integer number. Five is an integer. Seven is an integer. So all these numbers are integers. See. So uh, integers can be positive. It can be negative as well. Like minus one, minus two, minus three. It can be anything positive, negative doesn't matter. Zero is also an integer. So. Uh, 
Uh, so all we have to remember the integer numbers are those numbers which are fractionless, which doesn't have any decimal point within it. So these all these numbers are, can be classified into uh, integers. 